and we put it in a bubble and we blow it away. Go on. <sighs> um, well, over the past several years, I've also lied to you a few times. Mm-hmm. I never had a weak rest colonic, I've never had a lesbian experience, and I've never mooned a cop. <laughs> Why would you lie about those things? I don't know, you're my mom, I wanted you to be proud of me. <laughs> okay, I forgive you, and we put it in a bubble, and we blow it away. <sighs> Anything else? Um, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Remember that one time when I told you that me and some friends were going down to Bakersfield to pick fruit with migrant workers? Mm-hmm. We went to Disneyland. <laughs> so, I assume this is the first time you've seen a karmic unburdening. Oh, no. My, my family also has a tradition of uh, confessing our sins to each other every seven years. Really? No. <laughs> Come on, Larry. You gotta admit, it's a little out there. No, Greg. It's science. Every seven years, all the cells in your body are replaced by new ones, and you don't want to saddle them with the sins of the old. Didn't you study biology? Yeah, but they didn't let us lick our frogs. Anything else? <laughs> I've been doing um, an impersonation of you that isn't very flattering, but, you know, gets big laughs. What kind of impersonation? Well, not so much of an impersonation as it is uh, an exaggeration for comic effect of how you act sometimes. Monthly. <laughs> monthly? Uh-huh. Oh, well, I can laugh at myself. Why don't you go ahead and show me? I don't want to. I just don't know what good can come of this. You'll see. It'll bring everybody closer together. You get that girl out of this house right now, Larry Finkelstein! Come on, Abby, everybody else thinks it's funny. Larry begs me to do it. It's common knowledge. If you don't unload your karmic baggage, bad things happen to you. Like when you break a mirror. No. Oh. That's a superstition. This is science. <laughs> I remember once I skipped an unburdening and boom, I lost the best job I ever had. Well, maybe you just weren't right for the position. No, you're not listening. I lost the job. They said start Monday. I bought a new shirt, got in the car early Monday morning, drove around for hours, <laughs> couldn't find it. <laughs> Finally, just went to the movies. <laughs> You can come in now. So, how'd it go? Fine. Just fine. Where are you going? Oh, I'm gonna return your mom's pasta maker, and I figured while I'm over there, I'd unburden to her. To, to my mother? Yes. You're uh, going to confess to my mother everything you've ever done to her since you met her? Yeah, this could take a while. Don't hold dinner. No, no. <laughs> you, you can't go. <laughs> Why not? Uh, because uh, you uh, haven't unburdened to me yet. I thought you said it was silly. Yeah, well, that was before I, I saw you do the bubble thing, and then Larry explained the scientific aspect. <laughs> okay. Hey, if you want, we can return the pasta maker. Oh, thanks, Larry. Great. Let's go, Ab. Okay. Shall we uh, take the van or my broom? <laughs> Abby, we put it in a bubble. She said she put it in a bubble, but she did not put it in a bubble. <laughs> hey, Celia, Friday night, Dharma's having a little party to celebrate the completion of her karmic unburdening. Can you come? It sounds like a barrel of monkeys. <laughs> but Friday night, I clean a dentist's office in exchange for bridge work. Wait a minute. Don't you have a dental plan? Yes. I cleaned the dentist's office, and he does my bridge work. I think it's a pretty good plan. What does your union representative say about this? Who is your shop steward? What on earth is he doing in there? You don't suppose he's waiting for us to come in and say hello? Excuse me, Mr. and Mrs. Montgomery? Yes? <laughs> I am on strike. Now storm out. Larry, <laughs> right, what is
is going on? You'll find out when you get our list of demands. <laughs> well, I guess we should have said hello. <laughs> okay. Uh, about two weeks after we were married, one of your old girlfriends called, and I chose not to give you the message. Really? And I also told her that you were in prison. <laughs> and gay. And seeing someone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we'll put that in a bubble, and we'll blow it away. What else? <sighs> okay. Um, well, one time when we were having sex, I pretended, you know, that I didn't have an orgasm. <laughs> you faked not having one? Well, I wanted to go again. I didn't want to have to wait in line. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, bubble and blow. <laughs> I won't do it again. All right, anything else? I did it like 30 more times. <laughs> All right, next. Uh, well, that's it. Thank you for doing this with wait. me. Where are you going? I'm going to your mom. No, you can't go to my mother's. Why not? Because uh, this whole thing has inspired me, and I want to unburden my karmic baggage to you. Really? Sure. Okay, rookie, let's see what you got. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's one, here's one. Do uh, you remember the, uh, the, the pigeon's nest that was right under our bedroom window? The one the hawk got? Well, there was no hawk. Uh, <laughs> Cooing and the chirping was driving me nuts, so I moved the nest to the park. You can't just move a bird's nest. The mother will never be able to find it, and the chicks will starve to death. I uh, know that now. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm sorry, um, but I've unburdened, and, and you're right. I feel so much better, karmic baggage-wise. You murdered babies? Not babies, pigeons, rats with wings. <laughs> Those poor birds, Wendy and Janine and Big Tony and Little Tony. How do you sleep at night? It's actually much better. They were right under the window. Come on, come on, blow the bubble. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Is that it? Can I go to your mom's no, now? No, you can't go to my mother's now because there, there's more. There's lots, lo lots more. Okay, go ahead. Remember that, that gnarly spider we had in the kitchen? Oh, no, not Charlotte! <laughs> but most importantly, we have to show our strength. We have to stand together. The only thing that can destroy us is dissension within the ranks. It's only me, Mr. Larry. Good. Now, how about a nice cup of tea? Okay. Oh, no. You're not a maid in this house. You're our guest. Abby! Can we have some tea, please? Well, as long as you're up. You know, I have done so much for those people. I think I deserve this. It doesn't matter whether you deserve it. You're entitled to it. <laughs> Mrs. Montgomery isn't an easy woman to work for. Very high strong. If I didn't switch her real coffee for decaf, she will be bouncing off the walls. She doesn't know you give her decaf? Oh, no. And I water down her martinis so she won't get drunk. And every time she asks me for a volume, I give her a mild laxative. Wow. I can't imagine what she'll be like without you. I can. Mother? Dad? Hello? Anybody home? Oh, Greg, hi. Uh, listen, um, Dharma's on her way over. I, I kind of need to warn Mother about what she's doing. Oh, son, uh, this really isn't a good time. Oh, Gregory, perfect. <laughs> Sit me up, dear. I have laundry to do. Up. Don't look at me. Zip her up. <laughs> Won't you come home, Bill Bailey? Won't you come home? I cried the whole night long. I'll do the cooking. Hey! wants coffee. I'll pay the rent. I'll wear a purple thong. What the hell's going on? I don't know. She went to the change six months ago. Maybe she's changing back. How much she had to drink? No more than usual. Has anything upset her? 
Or maybe it's this Celia business. What's the American Federation of Montgomery Household Worker? <laughs> Celia. Since when does she have a union? Since your father-in-law organized her. Hello, hello! Hey, what are you doing here? I, I just, uh, you know, dropped by to see my folks. Tell them I love them. I love you, Dad. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> fit too. Um, are they role playing? Should I come back some other time? Actually, I think this is the perfect time. Come on, Dad. Should we call Mother's doctor? Uh, tomorrow morning. I might get lucky tonight. Kitty, can I talk to you for a second? Absolutely. <laughs> What's up, paper cup? Um, well, um, <clears throat> there's a few things that I've done to you that I'm not very proud of. Uh-huh. And I thought, well, I wanted to unburden myself to you and ask for your forgiveness. I love it. One, two, three, go. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. <clears throat> um, remember that big charity event you had at the museum? Oh. I just want to tell you that it was inappropriate of me to bring a sink monkey, even though he was in a little tux. <laughs> dear, 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 dear. Is that all that's troubling you? Oh, no, there's tons more. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Tube top. Yes. Uh-huh. Drag queen in the jacuzzi. Okay. Oh, so that's how the patio furniture got to Mexico. <laughs> okay. You're forgiven. Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, after all, you didn't do it on purpose, right? Mm -hmm. No. No, no, no. How can anyone do this kind of thing on purpose? <laughs> Good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I might get lucky tonight. <laughs> I, uh, I, I called uh, Celia's house. They, they said she was here. She might be. I, I just need to talk to her for a minute. Dad says she knows how to uh, deal with Mother when she gets... The way she is. Are you here speaking as an official representative of management? I just need to talk to her. Greg, Celia's on strike. As her union representative, I demand that an official representative of management be sent to negotiate. Fine. I'm the official representative. You are the official representative of the Montgomery Household Domestic Management. Yes, Larry, yes. Good. We have nothing to say to you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. One time when I was babysitting your monkey, I took him to a fancy party without telling you. Is that where he started smoking again? <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you know how hard it is to get a nicotine patch to stick to a monkey? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I think that's it. You're the last one. You even unburdened a kitty? Yup. What did she say? As long as you didn't do it on purpose. That she forgave me. <sighs> cool. Yeah, I am right with the universe. Bring on the next seven years. Oh. Oh, man. I paid 12 bucks for this coat. Hey! <laughs> My husband's the pigeon killer. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm really sorry about your dinner. It's okay. It's uh, not like you did it on purpose. <laughs> I want it on record that I object to the fact that we're meeting on management turf. Larry, nobody's keeping a record. Then I want it on record that I object to the fact that a record is not being kept. <laughs> The record will so reflect. So, uh, what's it gonna take to get Celia back to work? I'm not paying her another nickel. She's worth twice what you're paying her, and you know it. Hold on, hold on, Dad. How much is she making right now? Plenty. How much? How do I know? The accountant pays the bills. <laughs> Larry, do you know? Do I know what? <laughs> I'll just let you guys work it out. <laughs> is that soup? Yeah. <laughs> Is it coming out? 
No. I think you're gonna have to dye the whole thing to match the pigeon crap. <laughs> Let me see. What's the matter? Door stuck. Give me a hand. Are you pushing or pulling? Pushing. Oh, well, then I better pull. <laughs> Oh, never mind, never mind. I know what to do. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, uh, I don't think we're gonna get through that way. Yeah, I'm starting to have my doubts too. <laughs> Damn my ample bosom. <laughs> I'm gonna try and climb over the top. What are you gonna stand on? What do you think I'm gonna stand on? Well, put some paper down. <laughs> Careful. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry we missed the movie. That's okay. It's not like you did it on purpose. <laughs> All right. I've written a number down. Assuming it's more than Celia makes, it is my final offer. I think you can do better. You didn't even look at it. That's why I said I think. Are these the only pickles you have? Finkelstein, look at the damn number. Let me ask you a question, Ed. How's your wife been doing since the union walked out? What are you getting at? Heads up! <laughs> Kitty? Yes, Edward? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm carpeting the house. No thanks to you. Oh, coffee. <laughs> what I'm getting at is... If you meet our demands, I guarantee a little domestic problem will go away. Uh. Mother's milk. <laughs> All right. You win. What are your demands? You're ready to hear our demands. Yes, I am. <laughs> if you want to pick this up in the morning, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. We sing happy birthday or something? It's not a birthday, Pete. It's a karmic rebirth day. But basically, it's the same song, right? <laughs> we made snacks. Uh, if you're hungry. Oh, honey, you okay? Oh. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. She's okay. <laughs> Now what happens? Uh, uh, she lights the ceremonial candle of the next seven years. Should I get the fire extinguisher? Cute. Where is it? Under the sink. Close. Close. Okay. Thank you for coming, everybody. Uh, there's guacamole dip, but on the kitchen floor. So be careful. It's very... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. You okay, Pumpkin? Yeah, I'm fine. How about you? Well, my pumpkin's hurting. Let's do this. All right. We're gathered here to welcome Dharma to the next seven years of her life. So, Dharma, I want you to take this candle and pass the flame of life from days gone by to days to come. Okay. Hold it. Dharma, huh? smile. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm sorry, I'm fine. so sorry. I don't know, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's not like you did it on purpose. All right, Dahmer, let's go. Where are we going? You'll see. All right, look. All those things on my list, the monkey, the drag queen, the stuff I said was chilly, the confetti, the candle up, the water wiggle at the garden party, I did it all on purpose and I liked it. No. I loved it. <laughs> Hello, Dama. Hi. Hi, Ed. Hello. Anyway, Kitty, I want you to know that I'm really sorry, and I hope you can find it in your heart to put it in a bubble and blow it away. I beg your pardon. Can you ever forgive me? Of course I can forgive you, dear. I forgive you. Oh, no. oh. thank you so much. You're an incredible woman. Okay, I gotta go. I'm the rebirth day girl. <laughs> 
What was that all about? Oh, for heaven's sakes, I wasn't listening. I feel as if somebody opened my head and poured in hot nickels. Here you go, Mrs. Montgomery. Oh. Just the way you like it. Uh, strong. Like a bull. <laughs> Here, take this. What is it? Let's say it's a volume. <laughs> Where is your uniform? It's Casual Friday. <laughs> It's in her new contract. 